In the British royal family, few names have carried as much power as those of Princess Diana and Queen Elizabeth. Regardless of the reason, it is almost guaranteed that you have heard of these two figures so important to royal history. Although their relationship was known to be complicated and strictly formal, Diana and the Queen had one important similarity. The people adored them. Here we'll show you the similarities and differences between their two funerals. When Princess Diana died in a car accident in France in 1997, it was news that left the world in shock and awe. The news was a terrible blow to many around the world and mourners went to Buckingham Palace to leave flowers, notes and more in honour of the princess. The royal family, who had not yet returned to England, received much criticism, especially Queen Elizabeth. But her intentions were good. She had decided to prioritize giving necessary attention to her grandchildren, William and Harry. When they finally arrived in England a day before Princess Diana's funeral, the Queen greeted the people waiting outside and gave a speech in Diana's honor. King Charles would make this same gesture at the Queen's funeral in September 2022, accompanied by Princes William and Harry, who reunited for this sole purpose. Queen Elizabeth's funeral was not unlike Princess Diana's for the princes. They again marched in a procession similar to the one behind their mother's funeral when they were 15 and 12 years old. In 1997, a note was left for Princess Diana, which had mummy written on it. At the Queen's funeral, King Charles took inspiration from his sons and left a letter signed, In loving and devoted memory, Charles R. Along with a huge crowd around the palace, there were also countless phone calls from people requesting to attend Princess Diana's funeral. Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, and Elton John were among the stars at her funeral, John even dedicating a song modified in Diana's name. Queen Elizabeth's funeral was attended by politicians and heads of state from many countries, notably the United States, Japan, and Canada. There were so many world leaders in one place that it was a security concern. Britain was in mourning for 10 days, with lines to see the Queen lasting up to 24 hours. Several people reportedly had to be treated for dehydration and fatigue. Even David Beckham lined up to say goodbye to the Queen, and outside where her funeral was to take place, there were hundreds of houses for camping. At least one member of the royal family always followed the Queen on her journey. Upon arrival, both her children and grandchildren participated on two separate occasions in a tradition called the Vigil of the Princes. In the case of Princess Diana, everything was very formal, and as the princes walked behind her funeral, the queen bowed her head in honor of Diana. After that, she was taken to the Spencer estate at her brother's request. Diana's death took everyone by surprise and her funeral had to be improvised. It caused a great impact on the lives of her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. On the other hand, the Queen passed away peacefully at the age of 96 at her favourite castle. For this reason, preparations were in place and although sad, its impact was different than that of Princess Diana.